Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you how to do a magic trick, okay? I showed you the magic trick in my previous video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to actually do it. Right, now... What you do... is you show various cards and you ask them to pick a card okay you have my words that these are all different cards okay so they're not all the same card okay pick it out and then I'm going to put my hand over and I would show you what it is okay I don't know but I'm hoping you can see okay right now I'm going to put this now now what I do is I put this back in the deck. Right, so I put this back in the deck, okay? Then. Abracadabra. Then magically, I can make this card appear out of nowhere. I'm going to make this card turn over within the deck automatically. I'm going to turn over the deck, and there you have it. The Two of Hearts, which was the card that was chosen by the audience member. So how did I do it? Well, I'm going to show you how I did that trick. But first, I'm going to give you a chance to change your mind. If you do not want to know how the trick was actually done, um, then please leave the video okay and stop watching it okay I'll give you 10 seconds to leave if you do not want to know how the trick was done 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 right so now I'm going to show you how the trick was done okay firstly all the card this is a normal pack of cards okay I, I've only shown some of them just to make it simple for the video but you could have the entire deck Okay, right? I've only done this so that it's easy for now. I, I guarantee that these were the cards that I used. All of them, as you can, you can see, they're fairly random. And they genuinely is. In this pack, they genuinely... Just a minute. They genuinely are random cards, okay? So how did I do that? Well... First, this is the really clever bit, and this is the secret, okay? Firstly, you have all the cards face up, right? You just do this yourself. Before you ever show the before you ever show the audience member, you must prepare the cards. You just have all the cards so that they're all faced up, okay? For yourself. Then this is the very, very clever bit, and this is the secret to the trick. The top card, which you have, right, which is face up, you now turn face down. That is the secret of the entire trick. Right? So now, if you look at the one side, you see a card with a back. If I turn it over, you now also see um, a card, the back of a card, okay? But on this one side, underneath it, it's got a card showing. And if I go on the back, on the other one, it's got a back followed by another back, okay? Right? So that is the secret. Now, how do you do this? Well, what you do is you basically show the cards face down, say to them, pick a card, okay? Right? If you're very clever at this, you might um, basically give them the original deck original to check, and then when they're not looking, turn the card over like I showed you. Now, they will pick a card, okay? doesn't matter they genuinely do choose and you do have no you do not force the cards you do not force them to pick a card they can pick genuinely any card you just do not want them to pick the card the very last card which is this one which has been turned over so you just but that's right at the end so they'll never pick it you pick just make sure they pick one in the middle and you'll be okay make sure they don't pick the very 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 end one so you can for example cover it like that so they wouldn't okay now they'll pick a genuine card okay so now i'm going to show you them picking it and I'll do that, okay? Now this 
is where the clever bit comes in. Okay, this is how they picked it. They picked it out of here. But what you do is, while they're busy showing that, you very quickly turn the pack of cards over. You could do this in various ways. You could move your hand down and then move your hand back up. So somehow you must turn over the pack of cards so they do not notice. Okay? Then what happens is they then put the you then ask them to put the card back in anywhere in the middle. Now you'll notice what happens is if I open the cards up now before the cards were actually faced down. Now the cards are faced up because I've turned them over. Notice that the top card still has the back on because I said both is a back and a back. Now they don't notice this because you've already closed the cards up. So they just put a card face up in there. And they don't know you turn the cards over. Now when you come to look at the card yourself please don't tell me I've done this wrong got it found it And that's why they're two they're stuck together they're right next to each other so now when you turn the cards over look yourself you'll now notice that this one is sticking out because you had turned the pack over and so all you have to do is turn the pack over then and say was that your card and that's how it's done to tell, show you that again what you do first of all you have all the cards face up for yourself but you prepared this before you ever let the audience see it or what you could do is you could hand the deck to the or to the audience member and ask them to check it really is a pack of cards then when they're not looking you just do some sort of fancy sleight of hand which they don't notice somehow to somehow turn the top card over so you'd say things like or when you could hide one in your pocket somehow and then get it out and cover it how you do how you hide it i don't know but that's your problem okay so you could be talking to the audience member and distract them in some way and then turn over but it doesn't matter all that matters is is that you have the pack with the top card turned over that's all that matters okay and that when you open these up you do not show them the last card, otherwise they'll, it will ruin the trick. So if you show them the last card, they'll sit like that and it will ruin the whole trick. So you must make sure that, that, that near the end it's closed, so that they do not see them. Okay? Then you just show them a pack of cards, the rest of the cards, and they think, yes, it really is a mixed bag of cards. Then you let them pick one. They just pick, they just think that they're picking a, a card. Ask them to show them to the rest of the audience while you're genuinely not looking. While they're doing that, you you could, for example, um, I'm going to just put this card temporarily away. While they're doing that, you could, for example, have held this and just close the cards up. Then move them away from yourself. By moving them away from yourself in this position, so move them like that to that, they won't notice that you're about to turn them over. They just think you're moving the cards out of the way. Then, when you move them back up again, they do not realise you've turned the cards up, so you would do something like that, to that, to that. Okay? And they don't realise, because they're just going to notice that, they're not going to be noticing it. Okay? And to them, because they see the back, a card with, that looks like a with the back on it, they're going to be reassured. They're going to think that you haven't done anything, but you have. You've turned the cards over. Then, when you ask them to put the card back in, in the middle, Then, you because you're putting the cards into a, t an, a, a pack, 
that's been a deck that's been turned upside down now it will go in the other way and then it's only a matter then of you going through them all until you see it okay and that is how it's done okay thanks for watching guys bye